Lorna was about to taste the cooking of Luke Dale Roberts and Jorge Vallejo. Both chefs have establishments rated in the top 30 of the world's 50 best restaurants. This is the first time an event of this magnitude has ever happened in South Africa. What can guests look forward to this evening? You first, eh? Okay, well, I, I, I took some uh, ingredients from Mexico all the way, uh, all the way down, so uh, I think you should uh, be prepared to, to have really, really Mexican flavors. We took some grasshoppers, we took some ant larves, things that maybe the people are not expect expecting to eat, but it's so delicious and it's part of the tradition, Mexican tradition, so it's good. This menu literally bursts with so much flavor. How did you come up with it? So it's, yeah, I took some of the tried and tested classics from the test kitchen menu and then we developed a couple of new little dishes so we've done a little test kitchen taco to tip the old hats to the Mexicans so to speak. And then I kind of put together my ideas and Jorge put together his ideas and then we just communicated by email and then yeah the whole thing pulled together. 16 courses, that's a lot of food. How did you find a balance? They're tiny, you're going to manage. I think we've just communicated and I think we were quite lucky as well eh, that like all the courses are, are sufficiently small and the high points start you know like nice and fresh and it's got a ceviche up there early and then and then you know I've got a, like a, a dish with liquid nitrogen like a smoked sea bass dish and um, so it's, it just kind of I think it's gonna fit. The flavors would come thick and fast smoked sea bass with frozen horseradish and lime compressed apples, pine needle granita with gin and tonic jelly and compressed cucumber, sweet bread with a smoked grape stuffing and pine nut bechamel. Resistance was futile. My dear Samizi, what happens when you put the best of South Africa and the best of Mexico on one continent? Hmm, let me think. I think I see some uh, Tacos, nachos, some bruero risa, <laughs> some mojitos. I, I can see that as well, but I can tell you now, you're about to have the best 16 course tasting menu of your life. We're gonna have a good time. I love it spicy. Let's go. <laughs> no, that's Spanish. Oh, okay. Uh, Mexican, I'm, I'm there. That's one. 150 places were available, and inside three hours of being announced, every seat in the house was sold out. Ambassador Escanero, tonight is such an exciting evening to literally have the best of South Africa and the best of Mexico on one continent. How did the idea come about? We are so excited indeed. We have two of the best chefs of the world. And the idea it comes under the initiative called Ven a Comer, that it stands for come to eat, come to share our food, come to enjoy our cuisine. It's a Mexican flagship program to promote our culinary culture, which is recognized as World Heritage by UNESCO. And uh, we thought that uh, South Africa is an excellent platform for this initiative, and we want to, to get closer to South Africa. We want to be closer to the Rainbow Nation. That is what we are doing here. We are building a bridge of friendship. And no better way to do this than with these gastronomic wonders. Toast with seaweed ashes and spicy mayonnaise. Aged beef, a revelation with grasshopper chimichurri. Wild oyster mushrooms served with a broad bean puree. Golden sunflower seeds in a honeycomb brown butter. Mexico occupies a special place in world cuisine. It's the country that taught the world to eat corn in all its many ways. And judging by the sparkling menu, it isn't a nation to sit on its laurels. It's amazing. Yeah. This has truly been an awakening of our palate. How amazing has today been? I'm sold on anything Mexican-South African combination. I'm definitely coming back here. It's, it's been an eye-opener or eye-opening experience but more than anything, my palate is doing a carnival. It's a, yeah. Luke and Jorge love pushing boundaries using their local produce. And for three nights, they got to cook flavors from the far side of the world.